Hello everyone, and welcome to another beer review. Now, what we're on to today is we're on a, a Berkshire brewery. And we're doing good old boy, best bitter. I don't know, I don't know. Take your pick for what face really goes with this, because I honestly really don't know that much about it. So it's from West, it's from the West Berkshire Brewery. It's four percent. It's a best bitter. It's created by Master Brewer Dave Mags. There you go. If you don't know who he is, never lived. Um, it's a multi award winning classic English bitter with a silky smooth mouthfeel. Good old boy is brewed with a blend of rich malted barley and fruity hops to produce an exceptionally well balanced and full flavoured beer. There you go. Sounds absolutely marvellous, doesn't it? Smell, no sorry, see is amber. See, so there you go. Never mind the look of it or the colour of it, but it's see amber. Smell, citrus, floral, pine, pine, pine? Jesus, tell it clearer. Yeah, I mean, as an aroma, Pine is fine, but if you have something that reeks of pine that you're going to basically put down your feather and drink, then suddenly the smell of pine aromas not such a good thing. Unless you're making pine needle tea, which trust me, isn't that great. Taste, blackberry caramel smooth, so it tastes smooth. Smooth with the texture. Smooth. You go. Smooth. Well, I don't anyway. Well, not since the police told me to stop doing that, especially on public transport. But um, yeah, so apparently, out of the hops, it's three hops out of five. It's got little, I'll just show you, it's got these little bits there. Little kind of icons, so you've got hop icons and all that type of stuff. So it's three out of five for the, the hop icons, which refers to bitter. And then sweet, you've got three sugar cubes out of five for to say it's kind of above average sweetness. So there you go. And where is it brewed? Yattenden, Berkshire. So that is, there you go. And apparently it has one thing, I don't know what it's one, but apparently it's one thing. And the ingredients is water, malted barley, wheat, hops and yeast. There you go. So, shall we crack it open and see what we've got? Ah, hopefully it keeps like this. I do like it better. I do, I do like it better. So look, more of a kind of a traditional style glass. Old stackables, as we called it. There we go, look at that. Well, it's old lively in the old effervescence front, look at it, it's bubbling away like a cauldron. There you go. Marvellous, so, kind of deep amber colour. Smell wise, not really that much smell. I'm going to get a hint of malt, not really get any hops. Get more effervescence going up my nose and aromas. And that's it. Nothing really there. Head's going a bit kind of flatty. Milk pondy. Steak. Mm. So yeah, let's see what it tastes like. Waiting for something to happen. They described all these flavours and I'm like, go on then. I'm waiting. It's 
quite a watery beer. I'll give it that. Nope. It's lacking. Completely bloody lacking. Christ. It tastes like beer that's been watered down. There's a hint of malt there, a hint of malt, but not really much after that. What flavours were they saying in the bottle is there? The smell is citrus, floral and pine. I wasn't getting that in the smell. Taste? Blackberry? Nope. Caramel? Nope. Smooth? If you mean, if you mean by smooth, you mean actually watery, then yes. If you mean it's kind of slightly kind of velvety and that type of stuff, then no, absolutely not. It, it feels like it's lacking in body. <coughs> Jesus, and it's a bit gassy as well. Sorry about that. Jesus, God. No. Flavour's far too subtle. So the flavours that are there are too subtle. Half the flavours they've mentioned aren't even there. And one of them was a bloody texture, and that's not even there either. Christ. And, uh, yeah, overall it's just lacking. Right, we'll break down the flavours. It's not going to take long. I'll try and do it in one, one word syllables. Or one syllable words would probably be a better way of putting it. Right, starts off in the front of the mouth. You've got light malt, but it actually feels quite watery as if the beer's been watered down. That's what it feels like. It feels like you're getting, you know, there is obviously malt flavours there, but somebody's toned them down by, it does feel like it's actually watered down. I'm sure there's supposed to be a kind of a, a light kind of caramel sweetness there as well, but again, it's watered down to the point as it's almost non-existent, to be totally honest. So you're getting this little hint of sweetness, but you can't really identify what type of kind of sweetness it is. Moves on to the mid-tongue, and well, everything just kind of fucks off, basically. It's like... Right. It's just... Carbonated water with a little hint, little accents of malt. That's really what it is. There might be a slight bitterness there, but Jesus, it's, it's a non event. It really is. And then, aftertaste well, there isn't really an aftertaste because everything's been dissipating. It's been dissipating the minute you've tasted it from the front of the mouth. It's been dissipating. So, by the time it gets into the aftertaste, it's like, well, you should have. I mean, really, what the aftertaste is actually doing is like saying it's kind of, kind of confirming that you should have left the bottle in the shelf in the shop. Really, you shouldn't have bothered your arse. Never mind wasting your money. And they said this is award-winning, a multi-award-winning classic. For what? Was it, did, who gave this a bloody award? Was there anything there to say what award it's won? Because it's claiming it's won an award, but it hasn't mentioned what award it's actually won. But God, this is shit. No, we've had enough of this nonsense. Right, out of time, what would I get it? I'm struggling. I'm going to give it two. I'm not going to waste any more time on it. Two out of ten, would I recommend it? Would I fuck? Seriously, don't bother your ass with it. See, it's just rubbish. It's absolutely rubbish. All I can say is, well, I'm sorry, Dave Mags. It's completely lacking in flavour. If that's what you wanted to achieve, and by God, you've achieved it, well done, pat yourself on the back. If you actually wanted to achieve an award-winning bitter, then, in my view, you're nowhere bloody near it. So, you failed, Dave Mags. I think you need to go away and try again. 
But at the end of the day, let's be totally honest, you must have tasted it for God's sake. So by tasting it, what made you think, well, we should bottle that and sell it because people will love that? You know, seriously. You sometimes wonder. You, you, you get a good period of where some of the beers are quite nice and quite enjoyable and then you think, I've been quite lucky and then bang, there you go. And I actually thought that was going to be quite a good one. It sounded good in the label and just thought, well, here, I've not had one from this brewery. Let's see what it's like. I know it's had to go high hopes for it. No. So, it's 2 out of 10. I can't recommend it. It's water, watery and tasteless. It's just rubbish. It's under £2 a bottle. Jeez, it was under 50p a bottle. It still wouldn't be worth it. Thanks for watching. Cheers. And bye for now.